Did you know that Google offers plugins for VS Code and IntelliJ? And that Google Cloud comes with a powerful build tool? In this video, we'll cover developing and building with GCP tools from IDEs to continuous integration and continuous delivery. So stick around. If you've missed the earlier episode on developer and management tools, check out the first link in the description as it discusses the Google Cloud SDK and tools such as Cloud Shell and G Cloud. For those of you building applications deployed as containers on Kubernetes, such as on GKE or to Cloud Run, and would like to spend more time writing code instead of YAML config files, then you should really try Google Cloud Code. Cloud Code is a set of IDE extensions for VS Code and IntelliJ that let you rapidly iterate, debug, and deploy code to container runtime, such as GKE, but also to other Kubernetes implementations. Under the covers, Cloud Code uses popular tools such as Scaffold, Minikube, Jib, and obviously kubectl to provide you with continuous feedback right inside your code editor. It also supports remote debugging of your apps while leveraging built-in IDE debugging features. As you get started with Cloud Code, you should try the built-in template that will help you create a Kubernetes application that just works in seconds and then deploy it to a Kubernetes cluster. One click, but also continuous deployment to your local Kubernetes cluster is supported via Scaffold for a tight development inner loop. You can also decide to set up your application that runs on Cloud Run using a starter template, deploying your app to Cloud Run, and looking at the status of your live application's resources. Cloud Code will let you easily switch between different build profiles to build containers using your local Docker installation or using tools like Cloud Build, which we'll talk about in a second. You can also edit config files with auto-completion and linting for Kubernetes all with inline documentation. With this feature, you may actually start to like YAML. Generating diffs between local and remote config files is another neat feature provided by the tool. Cloud Code lets you view and stream logs from any of your deployments, pods, and containers, as well as inspect a cluster's resources with a built-in Kubernetes Explorer. This is not only about container-packaged apps, but also about making the numerous Google Cloud libraries available to you as a developer straight in the IDE. It is also about supporting all types of development artifacts without having to build the container images, thanks to growing support for build packs. Building and deploying straight from your development environment can be very productive, but it can also feel a bit magical. It is also not very well aligned with DevOps best practices since it doesn't allow for automation and can lead to errors due to different build environments. In order to decouple the build and deploy process from your development tools, GCP offers Cloud Build, a fully managed CI CD platform that executes your builds on Google Cloud Platform infrastructure. Cloud Build typically requires a build config file, a set of instructions expressed in JSON or YAML describing what tasks need to be performed, or simply a Docker file. You can configure builds to fetch dependencies, to run unit tests, static analysis, and integration tests. You can also create artifacts with build tools such as Docker, Gradle, Maven, and Bazel. And finally, you can also deploy these artifacts to your preferred runtime or artifact repository. Cloud Build executes your build as a series of steps each executed in a Docker container that is provided by Cloud Build, by the community, or by yourself. Google provides and maintains pre-built images called builders that you can reference in your build steps to execute your tasks. Builds are kicked off using the gCloud CLI, the Cloud Build API, or via some pre-configured source repository hosted on GitHub or a Bitbucket. In fact, Cloud Build provides a GitHub app which uses GitHub events to automatically invoke builds on GitHub pushes and pull requests, and view your build results on GitHub and Cloud Console, all with seamless authentication. As part of a build, container images can be created and pushed to Google Cloud Registry, and applications can be continuously deployed to Compute Engine, to Kubernetes Engine, to Cloud Functions, or to Cloud Run. 
Cloud Build does not need to be about app source code. Cloud Build can be used in conjunction with infra as code tools, such as HashiCorp's Terraform, or with third-party developer tools, such as JFrog's Artifactory. Now that you have a truly versatile build and CI CD tool and plugins for popular IDs, what are you waiting for? I really can't wait to see what you code and build with GCP. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and look forward to more Google Cloud Essentials videos.